Okay, today we're going to make a what I call a hanging bottle tree. It's not a traditional bottle tree with the sticks coming off of it and hangs. This is like a basically a rebar chandelier and this one is going to be a smaller one as opposed to the first ones I made were about five foot wide. They had loops on them and the loops came down like a chandelier and they came out to be approximately the whole diameter of the thing was about five foot. This one we're going to use three 40 inch sticks a half inch rebar. Now that's a 10 foot piece cut in thirds and you use up your whole uh, the whole stick. Uh, it's going to have probably two to three little branches per uh, section and this one's only going to have three sections. The other, the five foot bottle tree has t uh, four sections. This one I'm only going to make it three sections so it's kind of like if you're looking at a circle it'd be three sections of a circle so like roughly 120 degrees apart you, you'd make your uh, that's where you, you, you position the, the sections. I got a jig that's when you lay your sticks in there and hold the tops together it makes it easy to weld because they're not when you start putting those things together they want to start walking all around on you so I made up kind of a little jig that holds them <clears throat> whether you're doing a four you know four section deal or you're doing a three section deal we'll show you that and show you the bending all right we are to the point that we can start bending I can show you what the hell uh, that's thunder we got a wedding tonight it's been beautiful 70 degrees 75, not a cloud in the sky, 60s, 50s at night. Woke up this morning, thunder, 48 degrees, and it's going to stay that way, evidently, through tomorrow. Wedding is in the down, down in the city, outside. So hopefully we'll figure that out. Your little keeper in holds it there. And we can go around again. Put some balls in it. There. Close enough for telephone work. I retired telephone work. Okay, there's a little jig I made. It's uh, it's just some little uh, sections of uh, kind of half conduit deal that it just sec. Uh, it, you just lay your uh, pieces in there and it holds them in the position you want. It's sitting right now in the uh, the ones that are basically 120 degrees around, and the other ones that are this uh, this one here you would use also for the, uh, if you were doing your four, and then the th yeah, obviously you can see the three empty ones would be used for the, uh, if you're doing the four section tree. You want to get it now where the center is straight, looking at it, you know, from this way, and looking at it from the side, and looking at it from everywhere, that it's basically straight. Then you can tighten up that, uh, you can see the, uh, it's got that little uh, hose clamp on the, on the top of it. I don't know if you can see the hose clamp on it, but yeah, you can see it. Then you just tighten that hose clamp up and, and get your welds on there where it's not going to move around on you. 
And then, you know, you can leave it in the jig. You take it out of the jig, it doesn't really matter. But uh, uh, the less uh, welding you do on that wood, I guess, is the best. But I don't know. It's, it, I've, been doing, I've done a lot of welding, and it's never really, you just kind of keep your eye on stuff, and it never really is a problem as far as, you know, obviously you shouldn't, if you had a welding shop, you wouldn't want to make everything out of wood. But when you don't, you know, do the welding all day, every day, it, the jigs the jigs are fine. They're not, there's no, I never really had a problem. So do it at your own risk. I mean, just don't be stupid. If you weld and you're, you got hot metal landing on that thing, don't stick it under a bunch of leaves and go on vacation, you know, or something stupid like that. But, you know, if, if need be, douse it with some water. You know, if it's really, if you think you really got a lot of crap on there, just douse it with you, take it outside, hit it with the hose, and it's not going to, you know, or make it out of metal. You know, whatever you want to do. We'll get going on this thing, maybe try to get a little bit of weld on it. All right, so the branch lengths. Remember, we decided it's going to be 7 and 11. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, I got it marked off 7 inches down here. 7 inches down here, I'm going to put a 7 somewhere, somewhere. 7 inches down here, I'm going to put another 7 somewhere. And here, I'm going to put an 11 somewhere. Oh, this way here, like this. Something like this. Somewhere in here, I'm going to put the 11. If I did 7 inch branch here, 7 inches apart, and then 11 inch branch, 11 inches apart here. It is a ratio in nature, and it's if you want to go down from a measurement, you times it by dot six one eight. If you want to go up from a measurement, you take the measurement and times it by one dot six one eight. Eighteen and a half, eleven and a half, and seven. But you know, like I say, this is just not. You know, this isn't rocket science. So, but that's how I come up with the length of the branches and the spacing of the branches on the sections. And it does come out pretty good. I mean, it's, you know, I'm sure you could just say, okay, make it 5, make it 15, make it 20, and it would look fine too. So, but like I say, I need something to go on, and I thought, well, if that's, you know, that's been, they've been using that since man's been designing things. That's how we're going to do that. I'll just show you a couple, like I say, this is a, more just a bottle tree thing. This isn't a welding video. There's a million guys out there that can weld million times better than I can. I never claim to be a professional welder or nothing. So this isn't a welding instructional uh, film. But uh, just to kind of let you know, it's kind of just show you how it's going to look with a few branches on it. Push that button. All right, if you care, it's a 73 32nd, 70 rod. Welder buddy of mine told me about it a long time ago. He said, you know, if all you got is an AC machine, he said, it's, uh, if you could get it clean, he said, it's a great rod, and man, it is. It's, uh, it's a neat little rod, but uh, anyway. Okay, let's uh, get one of these 11s on down here. Just, I'll just do a little bit of welding just to kind of show you what it's going to look like.
look at the up there, I think. That is. That is beautiful. The old man. That looks like something out of a picture book. Okay, well you get the idea. Okay, now. Remember this is hot because it's welded. That's how you do it. The trick about them 7014s is you got to get it clean. Which, so then what I do is clean up these on the grinder. And then you clean up these. You, you clean up the, do your measurements. Then hit your, uh, then hit it with your uh, little flap, whatever the hell they call them. That's a good, it's a good little uh, tool there. You know, if you need to get into tight spots, knocking off that slag and all that stuff, get you one of them uh, wire, little wire wheels for the four inch grinder. Um, but anyway, that's it. That's how it is. You know, and you just, that's you know when it's done, it's done, and uh, there you go. And be happy with it because it'll be fine. So, all right, I'm gonna knock the rest of these welds out. Okay, there's the preliminary uh, uh, branches on it. It looks pretty good. Uh, I screwed that one up. I put two 11s on one, on one. But I guess yeah, whatever. It don't look bad. This one right there. Yeah, it look bad. I still grind them off now because that rebar really uh, it globs up really. Uh, yeah no big deal but it just kind of globs up and I'll just hit them I'll hit them with the angle grinder um, turn it upside down hit your welds that you couldn't get from up top turn it upside down and, and weld it and then you can even put it in the uh, I got that uh, you see that, that piece of wood up there on the wall hanging that's my that's for the regular bottle trees that stand up but you could also turn these things upside down stick them in there then you can weld upside down without just having it rock on itself, you know, like, uh, you know, you know what I'm talking about, but just make sure you weld your branches up and down all around and grind them, and then it looks a little better, too. You don't have all that globby crap hanging all over the place, so. Okay, well, that's uh, pretty much, uh, pretty much it. I'll have to put a, clean that top up, saw that top off even, and we'll put some kind of fancy or not fancy or whatever. The other one I put chain around. I usually put chain around them, just wrap rusty chain around them. This one, I don't know if I'm going to do that or if I might try to get creative and make some leaves or something and put some leaves, you know, on the angle, just put the leaves up like this and then on that side or whatever.